Hello and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is episode 14 of Let's Play Kathy Rain. So in the previous episode, um, we found a poem which led us to the graves of where the... the wh what's the guy's name's called? I can't remember. The, the priest is called Isaac, but his dad's his dad's uh, tomb with all the relatives in, and this is it. So we wrote, written, 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 wrote it. We wrote down all these dates, and uh, yeah, it's I'm struggling. Center above below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of shape? Right, I thought I'd done this already. Of course, the sign of the Lord. Some of the graves can form the shape of a cross. Now, if I can only figure out which dates are relevant. I'm pretty sure that I did that last time. Because, I mean, I, that, that's where I got to. I did those four. Oh, and it's included that one. So, yes, a cross. I'm pretty sure I did. Hmm. I know, what, I mean, what I did do last time is once I stopped recording, I spent forever on this puzzle to see if I could figure it out. So that I wouldn't <laughs> be spending it forever on camera. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that was a bit a bit weird, really. But um, unless I accidentally didn't save it, anyway, it's done now. Did did did. I'm not I'm not sure why that's that's happened. But um, yeah. Anyway, I did reach out at the end of the last episode and say, "Help me, everyone, Kenobi. You're my only hope." Um, and a few people did help me. Um, they haven't given me the I, the answers. Um, but first off, yes. This is, I witnessed three dawns, felt warmth on my skin, their radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. Now, I thought it was going to be this date and this date, because there was only three days between that. Forget the years, 17th and the 19th. It's, um, it's three days, which I thought was three dawns. But the good old chaps at Scum and Villainy over on Twitter, they have their own Twitch uh, stream. They're actually playing Kathy Rain at the minute. I think they finished yesterday. And they said, um, ignore the first line. It doesn't really mean anything. So concentrate on these. And also, treat good old Billy as the king. So, I think it's I think it's something to do with people inside the cross. Probably these three. Maybe Isaac, but Isaac is still alive. So, I don't know. So, felt warmth on my skin. So I witnessed three dawns. Let, let's click on it, what they say. Three dawns. It has to be an allegory for something on the graves. Three dots. Right, okay. So what I'm thinking is three births. So maybe the birthdays of one, two, three, maybe. One, two, three. Confirm selection. Three dawns should be three birth dates. But I'm not sure if those are the right oh, ones. Oh, okay. So I'm actually on the right lines. So it is three birthdays, but not those three. Felt warmth on my skin. Their radiant bronze light lay nearby, but not within. Um, let's do that. Three dawns should be three. Okay, so it's not three. It's three birthdays. Um, let's try. Uh, I mean, what? One, two, three. Three dawns should be three birth dates, but I'm not sure if those are the right ones. Okay, let's have a look at the poem. Felt warmth on my... I, I witnessed three dawns. So three dawns is three birth dates. So we've got that. Felt warmth on my skin. Warmth on my skin. I'm not sure what that is. Their radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. So maybe it's not him. Maybe it's her. Yes, <gasps> that must be it. Three dawns mean three births, and they're all adjacent to Father Bill's grave. Oh, okay. So I'm sure I'm close now. I just have to somehow narrow down these to the correct number of digits. Well, that puzzle was ridiculous. Right, so... I did have a look at this puzzle as well, but I didn't know what what dates I was looking at. So, from east to west, so I'm presume, presumably it's from here to here to here. I touched every soul, so probably one number from each one. That's what I'm thinking. From lasting to brief... Now, hear me out. Lasting is long, as in like a year, um, to brief, as in a day. So one day, one month, one year. Their parts made a whole. 
Um, okay, so that would be... So from east to west, this one, lasting to brief. 61. I touched every soul from last their parts. Oh, God, because this is... Because it's America. They've got the, the dates the wrong way around. So that would be... I'm getting inside my own head now. What is this? The 60... Yeah, so 61... So 11 is a month, isn't it? Because it can't be 13. So that's November. So from lasting to brief. So lasting year. Next is month. And then this is days. Oh, no. Ah, oh, flip. Stupid Americans. Sorry if you're American. No, I'm pretty sure that's not it. Yeah, but it's 22 is the day, isn't it? Hmm. Right, so 61... 11, 22. Oh, it's clicked on no, 33 I'm then. 61, 11, 22. All right, let's just have a look. From lasting <gasps> oh to God. brief. Year, month, day. That's got to be it. Right, I'm... Um, I'm perplexed. I could have been doing it this for ages and like I said after yesterday's episode where I stopped recording I did have a go at all of this I didn't even get to the, I didn't even get to the right people so how you were supposed to do that thank you thank you so much to the scum and villainy guys um yeah go and follow them on twitter I'll put a link below <sighs> bloody flipping stupid puzzle right anyway we have we have the I presume that was a code for the for the safe let's go back to the church Dark. It was dark then. Come on then, Kathy. Let's do this thing. I also said I might be close to the end, but I don't know. I honestly don't know. It could take a massive twist and kind of have another six hours worth of gameplay on top. Oh, what was the code? Do I need to remember the code? 611122. Safe. Six one 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 two two. Yes. All right. Found a bunch of torn out Bible pages and a tape in there. What kind of tape? Is it like a one of those tapes? All safe. Let's have a look at the Bible pages first. Read Bible pages. The mending. They keep mentioning the mending, don't they? The mending is the sacred unity with God and the only way to reach true salvation. The crimson one finds lost souls on behalf of God. So that would be the red man. Unshackled by time, he guides them and bestows wisdom upon them. He grants them dreams and visions, preparing them for the mending. The living menders must then descend upon the stirs of judgment. Each step reflects a piece of their soul. Then they must face their shadow self, a servant of God, who will oppose them at every turn. Lastly, the mender shall prefer, perform the three holy sacraments. It's just like your standard Tuesday, really, isn't it? The three holy sacraments. To unite with God, three holy sacraments must be performed. The atonement of the mother, the absolution of the father, and the contrition for the son. God shall then gaze upon the mender, weighing their heart. The worthy shall be cleansed of sin and be allowed to reach sacred unity. FB. The damned shall have their heart consumed and be cast into the abyss. JC plus LM plus JR. So they're probably people. Father Bill, do you think? Um, who could they be? Hmm, not sure. All right, let's go back. Let's listen to the tape. Use tape with this thingy. Play. This is William T. Price. My visions concerning my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet 
the Crimson One. I've seen the history of the Church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail-safe, should these predictions come to pass. I've hidden it so that only the true agents of the Old Guard, selected by the Crimson One, may find it. Now, heed these words. You must stare into the abyss, and let the abyss stare back into you. It's the only way to cleanse yourself of sin and achieve true salvation. May God be with you. Wowzer. That's all I can say to that, really. Wowzer. Alright. What else can we do? Bible pages. Hit the uh, Nothing, really. Where should we go? What should we do? Should we go and confront Isaac? So he's essentially saying that his sons. That wasn't that wasn't Father Bill, was it? Was it Father Bill? I'm getting so confused right now. Right, let's go to the sheriff's station. Right, let's just go straight through. Boom. Let's chat to this lovely fella. I have more things to say to you. Speak what you will, godless one. Um, um Bible pages. Look what I found in the church, Isaac. Come to gloat, have you? I see that you've added stealing to your list of sins. Honestly, I just want to understand. What does it all mean? The mending? I don't believe you're sincere for a second. I will speak of this no longer. Oh, well, that wasn't very good. What about this thing? Listen to this, Isaac. This is William T. Price. My what is this? My concerning my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a failsafe. I don't believe it. Father saw all of this coming. God, have I strayed from the faith? It's not too late to redeem yourself, Isaac. I've met the Crimson One. We're on the same side. Preposterous. No one has witnessed that apostate since Father's death. I've been north of the lake, but he's nowhere to be found. He abandoned us all, and the divine work now rests upon my shoulders. You believe that you are carrying out the work of the Crimson One? Don't think I can't hear that mocking tone of yours. I will speak of this no longer. He mentioned north of the lake. That's part of Conwell Woods. I'll probably have to narrow it down more, but it's something. New location added. Okay, so the Crimson Guy is kind of a prophet to get to, to cleanse your soul. Father. Have you abandoned me? I will atone for my sins, I swear it. God have mercy on me. Are you gonna claim so? It's all got very confusing all of a sudden. Right, let's go to, oh, there we go. Kind of woods.
And then I'm back again. Okay. What the? How did I get back here? I must be going in circles. Oh. Everyone loves a good maze in an adventure game, don't they? I don't think we can really do anything here. Let's, let's just try one more thing. Let's try going different ways, but I'm pretty sure it will probably just end up back here. Because that looks the same to me. Is it to you? Anything else in here? Paint thinner, locks, botany book, store picture. Um, micro operation log. Can I listen to that? Standard micro tape labeled Operation Log Number Four. What is that? It should play fine in Mr. Dicto. Is that what was in the um? That's what was in the storage facility that we found. Is that right? This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log Part 4. August 8th, 1981. Kind of it the area appears to be circular with... <laughs> ...along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. So it's important to be observant of changes in temperature. Changes in temperature. Find the source by severing the link. Perhaps I can save them. Jimmy and all the others. Reoccurring dream. I'm standing in front of a huge black hole in a clearing in the woods. There's a man dressed in red urging me to jump. I'm afraid to, but I take the plunge anyway. For some reason, I don't think I have anything to lose. As I'm falling, I reach for the parachute cord, but to my horror, there's nothing there. Okay. That's when I wake up. So he said something about temperature, didn't he? Anything here that tell the temperature with uh, I don't know. the only thing my deadbeat dad left me my trusty zippo running a bit low on fuel there's a crude inscription BH which refers to the black hats okay let's use that with some cigarettes and see what happens I don't know why I'm just thinking you know heat heat from cigarettes I think I'm clutching at straws Okay, so that's Father Bill. Anything else? I don't think there is. I think we're going to have to go and find somebody. Right, come on, let's go onto the Catmobile. Let's think about the Catmobile. She was born a 76 Corley Motors, but there aren't many original parts left. It took me a couple of years to make her perfect. I like the way that it references um, full throttle. Which, by the way, is my previous it's let's play. It's the Catmobile, play. my custom chopper bike. Plenty of gas in the tank. Let's go. Let's go to... I'm not sure. I am not sure. I'm going to go back to, to Isaac. See if he has any specifics to say. So it's there. Oh, look at all these blanked out. So there's actually not much more to do. Maybe I'm getting close to the end. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? What's up? 
What's up, Kathy? They already arrested Isaac. There's nothing more to say. Okay. Um... I don't want to show... Okay. Anything else? Ask about that? Nah, I don't... I think of... This one? I don't want to show... No. I don't want to... No, okay. Never mind. Nothing. Well, gotta go. Gotta go. See ya! Let's see if I, if um, Isaac is is in here. Can we speak to him about anything else? I have more things to say to you. Speak what you will, godless one. Oh dear, right. I already talked to him about that. Oh, okay. What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation of mankind. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. Unnecessary evil. I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. One day you'll understand. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you, if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I have God on my side. I have a feel I spoke to him about that previously. Why did you destroy Lily's paintings? Is that what you think I did? They looked pretty ruined to me. Like an ignorant child, you look only to the surface and not on what lies hidden beneath. Are you implying that the paintings contain some hidden message? Oh yes, Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler, a bestower of wisdom. As an emissary of God, it is my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. Um... Hmm. I've already showed him that, haven't I? I'm not too sure then. Let's, let's, let's leave him alone. I'm done here. He's done here. Good. Now go repent, sinner. Maybe we show the tape to, uh, to our grandma. Do you think? Have we tried that before? Let's go. Because we could still click on the on the home, couldn't we? I mean, that's where Eileen is. So we can go to the lakeside cabin where Nathan was. It's a little bit creepy there. Just been there. Let's go to the Rain residence. Let's go in here. I mean, can I call anybody? Really? Anyone to call? Any change? Sadly not, dear. Okay, let's give, no, no, that's the wrong one, that's Father Bell. I don't need to show her that now. Oh, okay, that's the wrong one, let's chat to her quickly. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. Um. How is she? The same. Don't worry about us. Don't worry about us, dear. I don't need to show her that now. Oh, man. Is there anything else that we got? Bible pages. I found these in the church. Do they mean anything to you, Grandma? I'm not sure, dear. Is there anything in particular you'd like to ask me about them? Maybe. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Um. I don't need to show her that now. about paint thinner. The crimson one. Have you heard about someone or something called the crimson one? Goodness, dear. You're giving me the chills. I distinctly recall your Ooh. grandfather mumbling that word in his sleep. Crimson. He did? After he had the injury? Yes, he rarely spoke at all, but that's the single word I can clearly remember. Strange. Okay, that's interesting. Anything else? We've been through all that, haven't we? Okay, that's all I need. That's all I need. Good luck out there. So where else, where is left to go? I think I'm going to go to the, um, the lake and investigate around there a little bit more. I mean, maybe Nathan's come back. Um, maybe, maybe Sue has come back. We talked to Nathan about the crimson one. But all of this is going to have to wait until the next episode. So, um, yes, thank you very much for watching. And again, thank you to uh, Scum and Villainy on Twitter. 
um, because I would literally still be doing it right now. That bit still makes no sense for me. But um, yes, thank you very much for watching. Um, Please uh, give this video a big like if you have enjoyed it. And um, you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you are doing. And take care.